Well, this is unfortunate. I've got a flat tire on my car once again. You see, I don't know what's going on here with these two front tires and maybe the two back tires, but they all like to leak air. And instead of taking it to the local wizards at the tire shop, I'm just going to fix it myself. I bought some uh, stop leak stuff down at the dollar store. And if I can find it, it hasn't exploded into my car yet. Well, what did I do with it? Let's find it. Maybe it's in the trunk. Anyway, I'm going to show you all today how, to, how you put that in a tire. Because it's, it's a little bit of a complicated process. Oh my, have I got a messy trunk. Where is that stuff at? It's an expensive can too. I don't want to lose it. I got plenty of reading material back here. Where is that silly thing at? Ah, it's under the seat. So we can't lose it. Anyway, let's fix a flat. Standard tire size. It says tire sensor safe. I don't know how true that is. I don't think I'd put it in a tire. It's got a tire sensor in it because then that would mess the tire up. How this stuff works is, is it's a liquid. And when you put it in the tire, it expands and it seals any cracks or holes you may have in your tire or any bad adjustment that you could have in the rim. Like if the rim has hit a curb and it's bent a little bit on the bead, that fix a flat stuff will seal it. So I'm going to get out my air gauge, the air hose, the inflation head for the air hose, and we're going to get started doing some crazy stuff here. The very first step that you need to do when you're doing this is you want to make sure that your tire is fully inflated to 30 to 35 pounds. And ours is at a whopping 15. So it's low, and we're going to put some air into it. Don't over-inflate your tires either. Let's see what we got. 23, we're getting closer. Twenty-seven. Thirty-three pounds. We'll top it off to thirty-five. Thirty-five pounds. Right there. Put a little more in there. If you're like me, you want your tires fully inflated so they last the longest and you get your best fuel economy. So, we're going to do the other three tires, then I'll be back. Okay, now that our tires are all inflated to the proper air spec, all four, we need to move the tire so that the valve stem is in the 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock position. So I'm going to get in my car, so I close the hood, and I'm going to roll it backwards just to neutral. And then I'm going to check it, see if the tire valve stem is where I need it to be. Not quite. We've got about another quarter turn of the wheel to go. This is where having a helper would come in handy. Because it's easy to go too far when you're doing this and you can't see where the wheel is. Okay, well, 
we'll move the car one last time. Not too far. I should hit it right there. <sighs> All right, we gotta be ready to go after this. Yep, there we go. Okay, now, we take the product. The first thing after doing that is we take the cap off. And then, since I've already shaken this can vigorously for about a minute and a half, if you haven't, you need to shake it good. After it has been shaken, we need to attach the valve stem to the tire. Once the valve stem is attached, hold the can upright, hold the can upright, and push button, push the button down firmly, the product will be activated automatically, and then when it's stopped flowing, you can take it off again. I don't think you gotta shake the can or anything like that. And don't get the stuff into your eyes, it's not good for those. And if you get it on your clothing, immediately wash your clothing with warm soap and water to get this stuff off. And like I said earlier, don't let up on the button or don't undo it until the product has completely stopped flowing from the can. Or else you're going to have a big mess on your hands. And if we're lucky, we might be able to do all four ties with this one can. I'm hoping so. Okay, the product has stopped flowing. So I'm letting it off, and then I'm going to undo this. And a little mess is to be expected, but just a little mess. Well, that damn near took the whole can. Jeez, I may go down for the buy another one so I got some on my fingers so I'm gonna come over here find myself a rag somewhere and wipe my hands off and then I think I'll go buy another can of that crap okay we have our shop towel we've cleaned our, our hand off so now I'm gonna come in here and clean the rim off clean the valve stem off so that crap doesn't dry up in the valve stem and if we didn't lose it, which we didn't, we're going to put the valve stem cover back on. And then we're going to go over to the other front tire, the, the, pad, the driver's side. And we're going to repeat the same process if there's any stuff left in the can, which it feels pretty light. But first thing we've got to do is align the valve stem in the 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock position. Roll it down the driveway in neutral so I don't back into anything. Stop the car. Get out and look. And it's at high noon. Hmm. I think there was a western movie called High Noon. I know there was. I just can't think of who's starting it. Stop the car again. Get out and look. And it's at the 1 o'clock. Great. Down the driveway even more. Okay, we're going to call it that 4 o'clock. Turn our key off. So, take our magic goo, undo the valve stem. I know it's not quite 4 o'clock, it's more like 3 o'clock, but it'll work for this. Don't cross thread it, try to get it threaded straight. Okay. 
and see what we can get into this tire. I want to try to do all four tires, so we'll see if we can. Okay, the product's almost done moving, so we're going to disconnect soon. Okay, the product's done moving, so we're going to get that off quickly. Instead of making a big mess, we're only going to make a small mess. Get our shop towel again and clean it up, clean our fingers off. Clean the valve stem off, clean the tire and rim. Don't care too much about the can, that's going to get thrown away or recycled when we're done. So, now, since you've got your tires full of that stuff, they want you to drive two to four miles, allow the tire pressure to increase as the tire gets hotter, and the sealant to spread evenly inside the tire, filling every little imperfection that's causing the tire to leak. So, after we drive around for two to four miles, we're going to buy another can of this stuff and we're going to do the back tires and then drive around for another two to four miles. So one Indian down, we need another Indian. I also recommend that if you do a lot of driving, a lot of driving for work or for pleasure, I would pack a can of this stuff in your vehicle just in case you like ran over a nail or a porcupine or had some other kind of instance where you got a flat tire. So with that said, it's go time. So remember, keep the button pushed down until the product stops flowing through the tube, and then, only then, can you remove the tube from the valve stem.